Alright, it is Monday, September 3rd, 2018 at 2.16pm. Let's take a look at some headlines. Alright, Planet 9 may exist, but it may be hiding behind Neptune. Evidence of Planet 9 continues to mount, but there may be a good reason why scientists have, no have yet to find it may be hiding. In October 2017, NASA released a statement saying that Planet 9 may be 20 times further from the Sun than Neptune is going so as far as to say it's now harder to imagine our solar system without a Planet 9 than one with one. Alright, so pretty much um, as I had read this article, they think that the proof of Planet 9 is, exists, is more... Uh, probable because all the planets are tilting and if there weren't a planet 9 it'd be weird like why were or the planets tilting all right next brazil national museum hit by huge fire a fire has gutted a national museum of brazil in rio de janeiro the oldest scientific institution in the country most of the 20 million items it contained including the oldest human remains ever found in the americas are believed to have been destroyed a cause of the blaze is not known no injuries have been reported the museum located in a building that once served as a residence for the portuguese royal family celebrated its 200th anniversary this year the fire started on Saturday, Sunday evening after the facility had closed for the day. Aerial images broadcast on Brazilian television showed it spreading throughout the building. Alright, let's take a look here. What did the museum contain? It was one of the largest museums of natural history and anthropology in the Americas. It, its millions of artifacts included fossils, Brazil's largest meteorite, dinosaur bones, and a 12,000-year-old sketch of skeleton of a woman known as Louisa, the oldest ever discovered in the Americas. The building was also home to items covering the centuries from the arrival of the Portuguese in the 1500s to the declaration of a republic in 1889. The ethology uh, collection had unique pieces from pre-Columbian era and artifacts from indigenous cultures. Pieces from the Greco-Roman times in Egypt were also on display at the museum. Portugal's royal family transferred the court to the building in 1808 when the country faced with the threat of invasion from Napoleon. The museum was established in 1818 with the aim of promoting scientific research and making its collection available to specialists. So that's a big loss for a lot of history there to be lost in that fire. Hopefully they can recover a lot of the things, but it looks like there could be a lot of loss there. All right, let's take a look at Tropical Storm Gordon lashes South Florida as it heads toward Gulf Coast. The Tropical Storm Gordon formed in the Florida Keys on Monday morning and it forecasts to strengthen over the next 48 hours as it brings strong winds and heavy rain to the Gulf of Mexico, the National Hurricane Center said. Gordon is already lashing South Florida with rain of tropical storm force winds. A hurricane watches in place for the Mississippi-Alabama coast, including cities of Gulfport, Gulfport Biloxi, and Mobile. The storm will rather strengthen as it heads toward the Gulf and may be near hurricane force as it makes landfall Tuesday night along the Mississippi and Alabama coast, the Hurricane Center said. As of midday Monday, nearly 2 million people were under hurricane watches and storm surge warnings and over 13 million people were under tropical storm warnings. Gordon is headed west-northwest at 60 miles per hour in the Gulf of Mexico and has maximum winds of 45 miles per hour. The storm is forecast to pass over the Florida Keys on Monday, emerge over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico by Monday evening, and reach the central Gulf Coast by late Tuesday. You see here brushing Florida, going over the Gulf, and hitting New Orleans. Don't know if it will strengthen once it gets to the Gulf, because the Gulf has very, very warm waters. But let's take a look at Gordon right now. This is it over Florida. You see it looks like it's strengthening. Let's take a look at the bigger picture. You see it kind of covering Florida as it grows bigger. And the Louisiana and Texas border already have rain right now. So once the hurricane or the uh, tropical storm reaches um, that area, they will already be saturated. There's also, if you look uh, off the 
Puerto Rican and, and Greater Antilles Island, there is a, it looks like a system building there too. I don't know if it will actually turn into a tropical storm, but this looks like a big blob of precipitation right there. Also, as we see in the Atlantic, the, the tropical storm building, Florence, and then we see off the coast of Africa, uh, another blob of precipitation and storms. Hopefully that does not turn into another system. So we see possibility one, two, three, four things happening right now in the Atlantic. Let's keep an eye on that because we do not need back-to-back -back hurricanes. But it already looks like Gordon is a tropical uh, storm. Florence or also, so we gotta keep an eye on the one off Puerto Rico and off the coast of Africa. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Hit like and subscribe and see you guys next time.